Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and this is a safety showdown. Icon variant versus Showy Hornet X2. When it comes to dirt style helmets that are primarily at home on the pavement, well, you're looking at them. And that's why so many people are faced with this decision. Do I want America or Japan? Do I want DOT or Snell? Do I want a layman's $400 bucket or a nobleman's $800 status symbol? It's a hard choice. In the war of waterproofing, SeaWorld is our battleground. And the Shoei has two tight visor springs, sealing the lens shut to a beefed up rubber gasket. Meanwhile, the icon closes with nothing. It just sort of closes, kind of. Well, I'm still dry. Yeah, me too. So we're all tied after one, but the soundproofing test is bound to give us a clear winner. We have 106 decibels playing outside the helmet between the wind noise and something suitably adventurous coming from the speakers. It's time to see how quiet these helmets are from the inside. So that was 97 decibels inside the Hornet and 99 decibels inside the Variant, meaning the Shoei was quieter and it pulls into the lead by one. If Icon wants to play catch up, well, Rambo's Corner is a good place to do it. It always separates the men from the manlier men. And our variant has a fiberglass Dyneema and carbon fiber shell. It should be enough to resist my 550 km an hour pellet gun for a few shots. The Shoei, on the other hand, has a fiberglass woven with organic fiber shell. It's much lighter than the variant, but perhaps not as strong. I see EPS foam in there. It's four shots for Shoei. And that's it. Four shots. So the variant in the Hornet X2 had identical shell puncture strengths. Four shots for each. Visor strength should be more interesting. The Shoei has a very typical face shield, but the Icons is bubbly. Will the round bulbous profile be better at deflecting pellets, or maybe it just makes the shield weaker? Wow, six shots to get through the Shoei is the best we've ever seen. So four shots and we are technically through the variant, even though the pellet's stuck in there. Either way though, it's gonna be worse than the Shoei's six shots. Sit rep! After four tests, the Shoei is ahead by two. And the Hornet probably has the edge when it comes to side impact protection as well. Why? I mean, these are both multi-density EPS liners. Yes, but yours is a narrow head form. The Shoei is round and round is strong. So it doesn't take a genius to see that both helmets fared pretty well. Only the Hornet busted a bit of its sun peak off, that's nothing too much. It does take a G-sticker, however, for conclusive proof. These were both on sandbag heads inside the helmets, less than 100 Gs on both. Now, top impact protection. After you, Shoei. So we shattered the sun peaks on both sides. I figured that these would probably help absorb some of that impact, but I would be wrong about that. More than 100 Gs, failing grades, less than satisfactory on both counts. These are two rear impacts. I'm not sure if we're gonna get a clear winner, but my money is on the Shoei. And I was right in that the Shoei did do very well, but of course, the Icon did too. Passing grades on both counts, the damage to the shell is looking pretty brutal though. Speaking of which, we have only one unbroken piece of shell left on each helmet with which to test abrasion resistance. I also have a 40 grit belt sander spinning at 19 kilometers an hour. It's like a race down to the EPS foam, only the first helmet to get there loses. That's 21 seconds for the Shoei Hornet. Very thin shell, very bad abrasion resistance. And we have a winner. 34 seconds for the Icon variant. Not that great by most standards, but it's good enough to beat the Shoei. So heading into the final period, our Hornet leads the variant two to one. Shoei notch successes in soundproofing and visor puncture, where Icon clawed one back in abrasion resistance. If Icon is gonna save some dignity and pull out a victory, they're gonna have to do well in the final stretch. A stretch that begins in Golf Town. 
I have a club in my hand, I have a cantaloupe in each helmet. Can't imagine a better way to test chin bar strength. Speaking of which, the Hornet has a pretty thin one, whereas the variance is beefier with more padding in behind. And my money's on Murica. So the showy Hornet transmitted a very slight contusion into our cantaloupe. Now if we come over here to the variant, I mean it definitely got the worst of the nose job, but if you look at the cantaloupe, it is in pristine picnic condition. I'm gonna give the edge to Icon. Our penultimate test is no picnic, however. I'm gonna light both of these helmets on fire just to see how fire resistant they are. Uh, showy's doing pretty well on the shells so far. Some bubbling, but... That's nothing new. Let's try the visor. Crackle, crackle, crackle. And it's taking a very normal amount of time to get through this, if not a little bit more than normal, actually. We saw during the puncture test that this uh, thickness and strength of the visor is pretty damn good. Yeah, top marks. I'll try the sun peak up here. Pretty good on that plastic. There's the shell of the icon. White things always go that lovely marshmallow color. And it goes through there a little bit quicker than the showy, but still not bad. It would seem that the showy Hornet is more fire resistant. Now our last test is build quality where we count miracles. On the Icon variant, the face shield is miraculously still working. Also the sun peak is still attached on both sides. And the Shoei can answer that though. Their quick release face shield down here still works on both sides. The sun peak only on one of them. They can answer a third though, since all of the vent cowlings are more or less still attached on here. The Icon, on the other hand, lost pretty much everything that wasn't hard molded into the shell. Overall, I'm gonna give the edge on build quality to Shoei. So the Hornet X2 won the day, notching victories in soundproofing, visor puncture strength, fire resistance, and build quality. Icon's variant put up a valiant fight, clawing back a few wins in abrasion resistance and chin bar strength. At the end of the day, however, Icon limps home a loser. As a consolation prize, we're setting our sights on another one of their products. This Icon Striker Rig is the lucky target of next week's crash test. It should be interesting to see how an armored exoskeleton like this stacks up against some of the full jackets that we've tested. If you're interested in seeing that, consider subscribing to our channel. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care.